please subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to thumbs up or down to let me know what direction to go with future videos. Thanks. Kevin Samuels uses the following three main talking points consistently when describing black men. These talking points are false and misleading, and this information is being repeated by others. I used a video from Tone Talks, who broke down the realities of the economic position of black people when he responded to a woman on Twitter. She tweeted out the same incorrect rhetoric that Kevin Samuels spews, and Tone Talks answered her, but his answer should be directed to Kevin Samuels also. I'll leave a link to Tone Talks YouTube channel in the description box if you want to view the entire video. 51% of black men are single and childless. 64% of the middle class. That means they're out there and available for partners. We're running into a situation where black people don't know black people in America. Um, I need for a lot of people to start understanding like race, economics, and particularly like black American economics. Or just stop talking because it's, it's really making a lot of problems for having politics move forward because you are crazy and interjection that craze into a greater black narrative. Let's talk about it. When we talk about the middle class, we're not talking about what kind of job they have. We talk about the reality of wealth in America and how that projects itself. What I want to do today is kind of go through the ignorance, not only of that initial tweet, 63% of black people are middle class and no one talks about us. Why are we invisible in American politics and media? To a larger context of how crazy it is that most of these people in this in this thread don't even know that black people aren't middle class. Because I'm gonna show you how and what she used for the data point and it's bordering on insane. It's a it's a data point used by Brookings, which basically says anything anyone who makes twenty two thousand to $125,000 is middle class. I mean, basically they're telling you that working poor people are middle class. In California today, if you make the minimum wage was $13, that equates to $27,000 if you use 40 hour weeks. So they're telling you that middle class people in Brookings Institute's paper that she relied on to tell you this information, people that make minimum wage in California are middle class. That's not middle class. But I think, this middle class language has created part of that confusion. And this woman told you 63% of our homes are middle class. But they didn't tell you in the initial tweet what their source was. You got to stop sharing stuff when people don't tell you the source. People have to tell you the source, tell you the data points, and then you have to make an assessment. So I said they should make every black person, I'm talking about all the ones that tweeted that I mentioned earlier, that said this is a good post or some don't fit the narrative nonsense go live in milwaukee wisconsin where half the black neighborhoods are prisons and the remaining neighborhoods up in bar one are section eight homes or live in selma it's just craziness how you're black and lost on black life across america i look at this and i look at this conversation and i i just don't understand how we got here where people don't understand middle class life they don't understand what that means. Uh, they just use the word. They need it so bad that they'll accept anything. It borders on craze, period. And I, I don't know what you're going to do, where you're going to put the craze. But I'm telling you right now, you better confront it, whether it's yourself, your family, your friends, or we'll confront you. So this is the kind of craze we're dealing with. Tone Talks is saying that a person's job doesn't determine his wealth. By and large, Black America has no wealth that can be transferred down, which includes stocks, property, land, and their job alone cannot qualify a black person to be in the middle class. Even the top 1% of black people are only considered high earning, but even their earnings don't make them wealthy, it just makes them rich. And this leads to Kevin Samuel's second incorrect talking point. When he says 50% of black men have a median salary of 45K a year, the percentage of black men making approximately 45,000 a year is closer to 30%, and that's under 7 million black men in the United States. And that data comes from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 
released in January 2021. Said you're reading it right now. News release, BLS, Thursday, January 21st, 2021. The usual earnings of wage and salary workers, fourth quarter 2020. And we're only talking about full-time salary workers. We're talking about full-time salary working for, for black men, that's 6,785,000 full-time workers when we talk we, we spit these numbers out that's what we're talking about we, we're talking about this number of men less than half of the adult black males in the united states of the adult black males that work from 25 years and older which is which is the bulk of the black male workers they make 850 dollars so 850 dollars a week times 52 that's 44,000. If you look at it on the women's another talking point of Kevin Samuels is that 50% of black men available for marriage are childless. If he's referring to men over the age of 30, then his percentage point is again incorrect. The United States Census Bureau published in 2019 says that black men between the ages of 30 and 39 which I'm assuming is the age range Kevin is referring to as being available for marriage, since he says black men under the age of 30 are usually not in a position to provide for a family. In that case, 62.5% of black men in the age range of 30 to 39 are fathers. The majority of Kevin Samuel's viewers are the working poor. The top 1% of men don't need his advice to get women, and the men making 45 k or more have to go to work in the morning, so they're probably not spending three hours a night watching Kevin Samuels on YouTube. What Kevin is trying to do is paint a favorable picture of the majority of black men. So in order to lift men up, he has to tear women down. But the truth is, the 1% of black men are rich, not high value, and the 30% of black men making 45k or more are high earners, not middle class. And yes, the majority of black men 30 years or older are single dads, even if they abandon their children, which most of them do at the astonishing rate of 72%. So for the women calling Kevin Samuel's show, know the accurate numbers before you allow him to degrade you. And to the working poor who are his supporters, let the real numbers sink in. Do better. Then the women will come.